Right, part two in the Please Come Pop Dance trilogy. Let's begin the week. The enchanting brooch belonging to Antonia has vanished. Locate and return the brooch. Antonia last remembers seeing it in either her room. Also, both Christine and Elisa were admiring it recently. That case from the first time I did it, piss easy. It still isn't here. Bollocks, okay. First thing to do. Search. Question. Question. We need to get some sort of trigger movement from someone. Uh, afterwards, we'll go and do that. You quietly search 40. God, am I glad I sent Rowan now. Aha, there is an out Oh, God damn it, it's locked. Oh, who are these sadists who keep locking these things? Oh, fuck you all. I don't want to talk about Dawn. They haven't spoken to each other since that night. Sounds like she is known more than she says. Oh, you reckon Tice has been summoned to my office? Oh, please, please. What do you want, Elsa? I'm not your minion anymore. We've got to talk, nothing to talk about. No, 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 that's what we do have to talk about. I want you to return to the council. Yes, I don't I don't even need an apology. Really? I'm as surprised as you are. You no you don't, you want Althea. If she's making you be nice to me, I'm going to I want both of you. That's disgusting, Elsa, and probably illegal. I don't care what you want, but if you insist on being an idiot about my sister, that's your problem. Okay, so not that one. We need to make this about her. You were a valuable council member. Maybe you should have thought about that earlier. Fuck! Oh, but, but, that is a good word. That is a good word. I suppose I could drop by the council student office once in a while if I'm not too busy, just for old time's sake. So, tar then. She leaves, for now. She's not back yet. Does that mean we only get her like two or three times a day? That is still not any good. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Ooh, that's not that high of winning, actually. Can we send someone along who has... No, you have the highest uh, social and... All right, balls to it, why not? Keep sending you to there, gossip, and then let's search the track. Should we make this a training day for you and get you more stealth? I like that idea. 57 stealth is quite high. Okay, I admit it. Dawn slept over in our room one night. She shared a bed with Lucia and they haven't talked about it each other since. Now that you know, maybe the girls will be willing to talk. Oh, we've had this one before, haven't we? And it was a misunderstanding on both of their sides. You guys are mad at me about that little fake bomb joke. I heard there's a room at the boiler room. That's the first one we got, I think. Get all that stealth points. Amadine, daughter of a famous actress, is in danger of failing her physics class. This must be prevented. Tysus returned to the council! Yes! Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I'm fucking glad. Okay, so the boiler room, we've already done that one. So I'm sorry that you have to keep going all the time, Mallory, but... It's the thing which has to be done. Alright, so question. 97% chance of being unsure. Alright, maybe not. Actually, we can just send one of these along, right? Wait, what? Oh, it was her we had, like, no chance with. So that makes it 97% chance in our way, and that makes it probably 100%. We're going to speak both to the friends, Dawn and Lucia, who we are now questioning. Sweet! <laughs> with the magnifying glass! Surely that's just more intimidating than it is questioning, like than it is observational. You're just staring at someone in the face, like probably two feet away from them at best. You're probably as much for Freddy Cat as Annabella wouldn't dare you go to the tunnels even if I told you how the monsters might get you. Bollocks. Gonna have to keep going back. I think I broke Lucy's heart. I can't give her what she wants. I just want her friendship back the way it was. Wait, didn't Dawn say the same thing? Yes, yeah, she did. You explained to... Dor Lucia and Dor that they misinterpreted the other's actions. They're a bit embarrassed, but friendship has been restored. Council Games 5 Karma. Oh, give me that Karma, baby. A. Four skill training points. Tice is absent due to stress. Okay, well, at least we have her back. Oh my god, I would have cried if we didn't get her back. Awesome. So, first of all, we'll search our room. We need to do this first, don't we? Alright, maybe not. We'll do... Did you have a date? No. So that's fine. Did you have a date? No. So that's fine. We're three days a bit late in doing this. Okay, so questioning the owner might be pointless, but we might know who to focus on. Question. Question. And search. I don't know why we'd search a track, but sure, I guess. Done. I'm pretty sure the last place I saw it was at the track. Well, it's a good thing I'm going to the track, isn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't seen it. 
That sounds suspicious. Oh, we might have a chop. No, you don't find anything too close to call. Both of them are absent due to stress. Big floppy testicles. All right, uh, let's go question you. Let's see if you say something different. That's all the way down. Is that what happens after one day? Oh, I'd be impressive if it were. Gossip. 30 combined. It's not even worth going in. This, however, slightly more so. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't seen it. Bollocks, you've both given the same answers. We'll go search your track again. Don't. Oh, no, actually, we'll go search the room. Okay, we'll go search the room. Sweet. Off to search the room. Antonia sheepishly reports that she found her brooch. So many of these cases are solving themselves. I don't even mind. I <laughs> don't mind. A large number of world history students all got the exact same grades. Oh, we had this one <laughs> just seconds ago. God damn it. Keep sending Mallory there. I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, search here just in case. Now, what happened when she spoke to her? She was confident in her skills, was not concerned about her slipping grades. What a bitch. I mean, we could try and get in there and search, but we're almost destined to fail the search test. We only need to do the observation one, of which I'm pretty sure she'll do. Question. Done. Thanks for dealing with that noise problem so I could sleep. I heard there's a secret tunnel in the basement. Have we already had the basement? I can't remember. I don't think so. Quietly search our room. Yeah, we've won that. 11 chance. You find what should be Amadine's physic notes book. It's blank. She's not even trying. Yeah, I don't care about that. We've just won the observation. According to the teacher's note, the best student in the class is Cameron. Maybe she should shoot her. You may now persuade and harass Cameron. Yes, I got an 86. Can we talk about something else? No, we can't. Persuade. Sweet. So that's that's hopefully that sorted. So I can just ignore that and now work on this big one here. No, no. I, I don't know why. I keep instinctively using Roman to question sometimes. I shouldn't be. Search. We're searching hers because she's the biggest. The biggest generally. From what I found, it might be just, again, RNG patterns. But from what I found, that one's always the best one. Okay, I'll offer to study with Amadeen. Way! World history test I got in 94. See, you didn't all get... 86 and 94 is not the same, damn it. Quietly search her room. You don't find anything interesting. Amadine refused Cameron's help. This isn't working. <sighs> the used cheat sheet was found in the classroom and everyone in trouble. Ah, oh, well, we didn't need 10 reputation anyway. Go fuck itself. St. Claudine's will be hosting a race on February the 8th. And Lena will be anchoring the relay on the track. Make sure nothing goes wrong. What was this? Oh, yeah. Hmm. No, actually, we'll stalk her and see if she's doing something she shouldn't be. Was it her? Can we persuade her? No. Harass! Will Harass do us anything? Nah, not if... Not if... Amandine refused her help. Alright, let's just go question her. And then tomorrow we'll send Rowan to this. Which should be fine. So Tice, you can go to Supply Closet! <laughs> oh, it's like things have never changed! You notice Amandine sneaking off to the forest. What's she doing there? Don't worry if anything goes wrong. Jane can take my place. Magnifier. Jesus, we have all the observations things. Hey, also, do you know what day it is? Wednesday, I think? Thursday. Other than that, today's Senior Cut Day. There's no such thing. Not at St. Claudine's, no, but at some schools it's a tradition. I don't know what it is. Oh, you're explaining it for me. Good. All the seniors take the day off. Not for any particular reason or plan. Just do it. To show, the to show that the rules we live by only bind us as long as we let them. Of course, we'd never get the whole senior class to go along with it. Too many goody two-shoes in there. Can't believe in their own freedom. But there's you and there's me. What do you say? Will you cut class with me? And do what? Anything we want. Climb onto the school roof, play video games, run naked in the forest. Anything we want. That's the idea. I'm okay with the second one. Climbing seems dangerous. I'm not a very agile person. Running naked in the forest might get caught. Would cause a bit of a scandal considering the school we're in. And that, like, the only thing we do is to do with that. But, uh, whatever. It's one day, one shot at stepping out of the role other people put you in. One chance to say hell with the consequences. Let's go. 
Be wild with me, Elsa. When I choose, not when you do. Ooh, how dominant. Oh, I see. I'm challenging your authority, am I? If you want me to bow to your yoke, you'd better plan your move. There are only so many days left. But then the anticipation always sharpens the taste. See you later. Hips rolling with slow promise, she leaves the room. <laughs> right. Right, Rowan, go search the forest for me and tell me what she's been up to just in case. And we've got so many things here, we may as well send that, just in case it's somehow like 60 or something absurd like that. Yeah, she told us the basement. That's a shame. And we'll go and question your understudy and then... Oh, well, we haven't got time to do the track for a bit. Whatever! We didn't need it. We'll send Tice to it tomorrow. F 60! Oh, that's ex... Oh, I was joking. I didn't think it'd actually be 60. Jesus! Chance, though. You find Amadine's hidden diary. She, she talks about being angry at her parents and wanted to get kicked out of school to punish them. This is bad. How do you help someone that wants to fail? Well, not by detaining, suspending, or expelling them. You guys aren't mad at me about that little joke with the shield. The basement! Ah, oh, stop telling me the basement, please. Please. I don't want anything to do with the basement. What did Jane say? Jane seems supportive. Okay, good enough. And then we'll go guard here. Well, Thea, can you do anything at all? Oh, Christ, no, we didn't mean to do that. We're losing that every day of the week. We're even losing that with Tice. Jesus. What are our training room points? Quite high. Quite high. Hmm. Oh. Alright, I've got an idea. I'm going to train the intimidation points. I'm going to train the intimidation points, you didn't see that. And here we're going to get uh, an intimidation item. A baseball bat. Oh Christ, no, not observation. That was nearly a mistake. I, I said intimidation, didn't I, really? I definitely said intimidation. And she's given me something which isn't intimidation. Jesus, birthday, Valentine's. Uh, that's going to be a sticky day. I'm like the least romantic person in the world. In game and out of game. Ash Wednesday, leap day, midterms, and blah, 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 blah. Rumour has it that a secret society... <sighs> secret society. I don't like that one as much. I'm not a fan of that one. All right. So they can probably last a week part. All Thea. Do we just take it? Yeah, 28% chance of winning. So one in... F well, just over one in four. Ah, uh, whatever. Even if it's too close to call, it might come out with something positive. You never know. I think we can leave this one for now. Now, nah, we'll, we'll we'll search here, just to make sure. Uh, put in an observation item as well. Uh, we might need to up observation, considering how high that's now getting. Uh, but we'll do that in a bit. Oh, you can't go in there. That's against the rules. Go fuck yourself. That's right. Punish me. I mean, do we have to expel her? What are these wires all doing here? <laughs> Same as before, damn it. All right, maybe I'm... Uh, okay, I seem to remember that questioning these people is kind of useless. So this one is done. We need to keep sending her here. This one's done. This one. Don't think there's anything we can do. How do you help someone who wants to fail? You expel them. Nothing you can do. Yeah, we've got more than enough here. We're fine question and we'll stalk her done those steam tunnels i don't know anything about those <laughs> it's a very ambiguous thing to say when you don't know something about that oh that thing i don't know about no no idea sorry five karma five reputation actually a lot better than i thought it was so we don't mind that maybe i'm a whatever stalk Follow her to the gazebo. What's going on? Okay, we'll go search the gazebo. The well-known best friends, Jay-Z and Abigail, have been conspicuously avoiding each other. Ow! Oh, what is it with all these fucking cases? What's wrong with you people? I thought there was one a week. It's like fucking two a week now. Okay, first of all, question. And then we'll go question the roommate, because it's always the roommate. Done. Quietly search the gazebo. You find dribblings of candle wax and mysterious symbols chalked into the ground. Hmm. All right, might need to stake that place out then. Abigail is ignoring me. I don't know why. JC? JC. That's someone's name. Did I read that originally as Daisy? JC's? Because Abigail. 
It's not even Abigail! We're in that room as well! Abby Gay! Who the fuck calls that? Oh, posh people are ruining the world! I know that's ironic coming from me. Because Sabi Gay made a new friend! Alright, well, we'll find out. Mallory is knocking on the door. Oh, don't tell me you have a problem you need to leave for as well. Uh, hello, are you busy? It depends. Are you leaving? Uh, what do you want? <laughs> I don't really know how to say this, but... Are you and Althea, you know, dating? In, like, a romantic way. Okay. You're not leaving, are you? Why do you ask? I guess I'm just trying to figure out, is that normal here? The way every... Everybody talks about each other, the way everybody acts towards each other, sitting on laps or kissing friends on the cheeks, sleeping over in each other's rooms. I mean, you can't all be gay, how am I supposed to tell the difference? That is... <laughs> what? It shouldn't matter, you prick. <laughs> you can't say shit like that. Uh, you could ask. I tried that and you didn't answer. Oh, fine. Yes. Right, and that's fine. By me, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, it does, but what I mean, is that normal here? And now we'll give that answer. Well, yes, but actually you're probably right. You're welcome. Even though I had to trace my answers in order so I could get one up on Manor River. Whatever, like I'm right is basically what I'm trying to say. Sorry, sometimes it's still weird how different this place is from home. I, I'll let you get back to work. Bye bye. She leaves. The race was a success. The school gains five reputation. There are always wires everywhere you go. I don't know why. What are we doing? JC is jealous or something. So I don't know. I've got a question here. Uh, can we give you the day off? We need to guard it, but we need Tice. We could stake out. All right, let's stake it out. As opposed to just searching and see who's doing that thing. Mallory, you can go question Abigail's roommate, see if we get anything more before we start the stalking parade. I think JC is jealous because I've been spending time with other people. That's what the other person said. You hide and wait. Eventually, you see Sophie and several other girls sneak in and let's hold to what looks like some kind of seance with can candles. Oh, God. With candles and chanting and giggling. Probably harmless, but it would be a scandal if it were reported. Me and our question harass, detain, suspend, or expel Sophie. Uh, we'll probably try and persuade her. Miss Tamaj has just entered your room. Oh, God. Ah, Elsa. We are more than a month into the semester. Do you have any updates on that matter I requested? I shouldn't have to remind you what a disaster it would be for the school if a student were lost in the tunnels. We haven't been able to access the tunnels. How disappointing. Of course, I could possibly tell you how to enter the tunnels, but perhaps you might find some way to occupy yourselves in the garden or the greenhouse. Oh, and your birthday is this weekend, isn't it, this Elsa? I didn't know it was, but apparently, don't have too much fun. She leaves the room. <laughs> Thanks, miss. Can't do any of those. So that shouldn't be a problem. Sophie was the one, 46. Oh God, I just remembered that it's no longer 40. Yeah. Four training points, not enough to put into any one of the two people I would want to. I'm good enough. JC's the one who's jealous. Loss. That only leads to a 10% chance of winning, Amic, even with a 15 plus item. Alright, let's harass her and see what she gets. Might lose a bit of karma. Sophie cracks under the pressure and promises not to hold circles on campus. <laughs> you can do it elsewhere, but as long as it don't fit fucking reputation at school. <sighs> yes, that, that was my northern accent, it's very bad. Okay, I admit it, I'm jealous. Abigail has started spending all her time with Yvette. Okay, well, we'll go and question Yvette and then persuade Yvette. On Sunday morning, someone knocks on your door. <laughs> Out of bed, slug. Happy birthday. She holds up a red-coloured bun cake drizzled with thin white frosting. Ah, <gasps> oh, is this for me? Where are the candles? And reveal my patron's exact age? Never. What? It's red velvet cake. I made it myself. How'd you bake it without a kitchen? Ah. I have a little arrangement with the cafeteria staff. Once in a while, if they have time, they allow me to use the kitchen under supervision. But I really did do all the work. They only make sure I don't burn down the school. <laughs> so they just sit there to a side smoking a cigarette. That is a wonderful vision. And since it's red, it counts for Valentine's Day as well. Does it? <laughs> Alright, sure. I have something for you too. Do I? Let's just kiss her and pretend it was romantic. Oh, a Valentine's present? A kiss. I approve. 
Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing what you think of my taste in cakes. So let's find somewhere to put this. You can't even remember the last time that anyone personally baked you a cake. <laughs> Just like that. All right, fair enough. Oh, God, Valentine's is going to be a long slog of a day and I'm not looking forward to it at all. <laughs>